Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some very random items that Maria sent us from Berlin, Germany. So thank you very much to Maria. I put them in this group because she put them in this group. Maria sent me a, uh, a, a cheat sheet. There's many, many sheets. Uh, and these were all items on the same sheet. And so I put them all together because she did. So we have the, uh, these are the Dickman's Burliner. And these are Werther's Original Vanilla. These are Treats, the Peanut Company, Peanut Butter Caramel Bites. These are like um, Mayhem mm -hmm. blocks. And you said they're by Haribo? They're by Haribo. This one looks, you have to say the flavor. It says right? they come in a new Wild Red Berries flavor. So you have a Raspberry, a Wild Cherry, a Strawberry, and a Blueberry. Did I give you all of them? And then that's whatever that one is. That is the, I think that's the wild berry. Oh, wild berry. And then you have strawberry. And strawberry. I mean, uh, cherry. Did I leave one out? Cherry. Okay. And then. You have after eight's um, selection. Yeah. So that has dark mint, mint, uh, milk. Mint pralines. Selection. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, uh, first we're going to try the Dickman's Bar Liner. So, what <laughs> Maria said about these. She said, the Dickman's Burliner, these are highly limited for two weeks in January since they are meant for the carnival season in Germany. They are a special edition of the Choco Kostralosh that I have sent you with the last package. So they come with the same wafer on the bottom and whipped meringue in the middle. But they don't have a chocolate covering, but a jam filling. It sounds like coconut. This should remind you of a popular bakery treat that is traditionally out for the carnival. A burr liner, or as you would say, a jam filled donut with sugar glaze. This snack comes with 105 calories per piece. So it it uh, does look like a donut, doesn't it? And she said to smell it to mm, make sure. It smells like it's... coconut. Oh yeah, it smells good to me. Mmm. It's like um, thick color cream is good. Mmm. Very strong coconut flavor though. I, I want like to see cream. how that came. Mmm. Like a little package and. Like... Come place. You get a really strong coconut, or at least I do. That's delicious. Why wouldn't they make those all the time? I don't know. Do you want to put anything else on mm. this plate? Yeah, we will after we're done. We'll get it for the finger. That mm. is that absolutely good. fantastic. <laughs> it um, the texture is um, <clears throat> it has the coconut, the shreds of coconut, mm. and then you have the jam. But it feels like a thicker marshmallow cream, like mm -hmm. yeah. like yeah, like a really like a whipped marsh up marshmallow. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, I think it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. I got a piece stuck in my teeth. And it's incredibly sweet, very very sweet. That's all I feel in my mouth right now is just sweet, sweet, sweet. But I love it. Mm -hmm. No complaints. Sorry, I had a piece of coconut in my teeth. That's mm. okay. Um, these very, very good. are the I would eat those all the time. Werther's Original by Stork are creamy filled toppings that come in a new variety with a vanilla cream soft eclair. Mm. And she gave uh, us a bunch. Milk. She gave us like a whole bag. They weren't in the bag, but she gave us the whole bag. I love Werther's uh, caramel anyway. And that white creamy meal is really nice. Mm -hmm. The outside of it is tough like a, like a toffee, but when you put it in your mouth, it starts to melt. Mm -hmm. Warms up quite a bit. That vanilla flavor is yeah, terrific. I like that. Yeah, it's very, very good. It doesn't taste artificial. Oh, no. No, there's no, it just tastes like a really good sweet caramel. Yes, it, like. it, it really does. You do get the vanilla, but it's not, it's not artificial. Mm -hmm. It's not overpowering. Mm -hmm. It's just perfect. Buttery. Um, just very yes, good. yes. Werther's Original is always very buttery. And then we have the Treats Peanut Butter Caramel Bites. Are, they are snack bites. 
for peanut butter lovers. Me. Um, they come with 27 calories per piece. That's as much as a Hershey Kiss. So they better be no, a good size. They're not, they're not small. Oh, okay. Going from the Brothers original to that is very <laughs> night and day. It's like shocking. <laughs> the Brothers original is so sweet. Over the top sweet. Over the top sweet. Whereas that peanut butter tastes like natural peanut butter. Mm. It really tastes like peanut. Mm. Yeah, it really doesn't have any sweetness to it. There's no, it doesn't have that peanut butter oil and all that stuff. It's just, and the saltiness, it's missing some Did salt. you actually get pieces of peanut? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get pieces of actual peanut in those. So it tastes, um, it tastes very, very natural. Mm -hmm. It's good. Yeah, I like it's it It's good, too. it's just not very sweet. Exactly. I think given either one of those, the Whirlers you're gonna be very happy or those you're gonna be very happy. Just don't put them together like we just did because then you can really tell which one is super sweet and which one is not. Right, exactly. I do think they're both very good snacks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. Okay. Now we have the Mayo Blocks. These are by Haribo. Um, Maria says... What flavor do you want to try first? Um, in a new Wild Red Berries flavor. I'm assuming that's She true. said the blue package is raspberry. Okay. The dark pink is wild cherry. And she said you can also tell by the pictures of the fruits. Mm -hmm. Strawberry is the red one. Mm -hmm. Purple one is blueberry. Which is and then the other one is the, wild berry. is the wild berry. Yeah. So we'll try whichever one you want. <coughs> Start with blue. Open one and go for it. I have the magic way coconut like all over. I tell you what, I really like those. And I like the way they're packaged. One of them still got a little smushed. You know, this reminds me of those things from... Um, are they from Ireland that are the uh, the tunic the tunic oh, uh, no. tunic tea keg? Is that what they're called? That's what this reminds me of. Is is something? Is that the brand tunic? Mm -hmm. Um, I I literally just flipped coconut everywhere. Everywhere. Everywhere, all over the place. Hopefully you missed that. And what is this? The blue. So oh, it's blueberry. It's good. I love that flavor. It reminds you a little bit of the high chews, but they're not quite as soft. They're a little tougher than that. It's kind of a mixture between Starburst and a high chew. Mm -hmm. Flavor is really good though. I love the flavor. The mm -hmm. blueberry. That's something that lasts you a while too. Mm -hmm. It's a very, very strong blueberry without having any of that artificial chemical mm -hmm. flavor. Of the tart. It's uh, just a really nice blueberry. Um, that one. Yeah, I like that very much. This one is cherry. I'm not leaving you enough. Mm hmm. Then I just take a bite of something that's hard to tell where you're biting out. Ooh, it's kind of aren't strong. She says the whole package is 87 calories. No way. Mm hmm. Mm. That makes sense. About 20 calories a piece. That's good. Two, one, two, three, four. There's five. Okay. Well. The cherry. That's a little strong for me. Yeah, it tastes a little. Uh, it does have a little bit of an artificial flavor. Mm, almost like a cough drop or a cherry flavored medicine of some kind. Yeah, it's a little bit. It's it's stronger than cherry that we have here. It's almost leaning towards black cherry. I think. Mm -hmm. It's more of a black cherry flavor than a, just a sweet cherry. That's what it is. It's not bad though. Mm. This one is the strawberry. Oh my god. This is one of those snacks, if it's only 87 calories, this is one of those snacks I would take out on the couch. I would take, just take a whole package of it out mm -hmm. there and just eat it for a snack. The strawberry is delicious. Strawberry is wonderful. I mean, it's very candy-like, but it also mm -hmm. reminds you of an art, a, a real one, honestly. It, it's, it, yes, I mean, it, it's all candy. It's candy. It tastes like those little strawberry candies that you can get. Yeah. It has a little gel inside of them. Yeah, and they look like the paper looks like strawberry. It's in a foil wrapper. Um, and that's what that tastes like. It's identical. It's delicious. Except these aren't hard candy. What, what was this Blueberry? one? Blueberry? 
Even though it's purple. Oh yeah. Purple is blueberry. Those would be great here. That's good. I don't know that I would, would have ever said blueberry. Did you get blueberry? No, I thought the first one was blueberry. More blueberry than that. The the blue it's supposed one. To be like raspberry or something. The blue one, I think it's supposed to be raspberry. To me, that tastes more like more blueberry. More blueberry than the blue. Yeah, one. that blue, that, the one that's supposed to be blueberry, doesn't taste like blueberry. Well, the purple, it tastes a little bit like it. It does more once you chew it. Mm. I just had to get into it more. It still is a very nice flavor. It's good. And this one's the new one, the Wild Red Berries. I don't really care for that one. It's almost like a citrusy, passion fruit, mango. Oh, wow. It's got that kind of flavor to it. Nectarine. I don't like it. It's off. Mm-hmm. Well, it, it tastes is, like one of those tropical fruits. Mm. It's not berry. It tastes like a tropical fruit. And it gets stronger and stronger and stronger. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I could eat it. I would get used to it. But it's not one I would necessarily mm. go pick. Because mm -mm. mm -mm. we don't, don't necessarily like, like mango and, and uh, passion it's fruit. It's not mango, though. It's not mango. It's like that. It, um, oh, it tastes like sick. I don't <laughs> like it. I, I, I do not like that one at all. I love all the other ones. Oh, yeah. The other ones I'd buy 100%. The other ones are terrific, but that one is yeah. bad. Yeah, I, they should have yeah. left that new one out. Yeah, I don't like that at all. Um, but I do believe those are made by Haribo just because they do a good job with their flavors. They do. Except yeah. for that Haribo one. Haribo sometimes is a little tough to eat. They've got a it? new taste tester in the factory, and <laughs> they must have had COVID that day because <laughs> they couldn't taste it. They couldn't taste that. Cause that is bad. That's rotten. That tastes rotten. It's, so. it's not that bad to me, but it's still pretty bad. It's really yeah. bad. Okay, this is the after Ooh, eight. Wow. Minty. The After 8 selection is a mix of leaf-shaped leaf mint chocolates. They come in a dark with mint cream filling, a uh, dark chocolate with a mint flavor, and a white chocolate with mint flavor. Since the combination of white chocolate with mint is not often to be found, I thought this one is, a, is nice to try. Three pieces is 96 calories. So, and I know we've tried a lot of After 8. We haven't had these, the filled, I, I know we've had filled after eights, but they weren't in this leaf selection. This is a different selection. So we're gonna try them again anyway, cause we just really like after eights. So which one do you wanna try first? Well, let's go, dark. let's go for the dark first. So you want dark first? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's be rebels. Normally we would do the white first. The food bar. Ooh. And it says after eight on it. It kind of looks mm -hmm. like an almond. Mm -hmm. Good mint flavor. The texture's wonderful. Mm -hmm. It's got a thicker like base to it, but then the top part is really like a really thin layer of chocolate, mm -hmm. but the base is really thick and then you get that really good nice mint cream. Mm. It's good. It's incredible. That That is dark chocolate that I can eat anytime. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, the mint's strong enough to where it balances really well with the dark and chocolate. And it's so sweet. Mm -hmm. So even sweet. though you do have very dark chocolate and mint, it, that, it, it's such a sweet cream flavor. It's wonderful. Yeah, mint goes really good with dark chocolate though. Okay, milk. Yeah, you really, traditionally, you see dark chocolate paired with mint. Mm. And orange. Mm -hmm. The milk's good too, though. The milk's wonderful. There is a definite difference in the milk and the dark. Though. Absolutely. It is, um, it just, it, I honestly, though, I love the milk. I think the milk is delicious. We get it any time. But I really do think the dark goes better with the mint. It does. They, they complement each other really, They really, really do. And that's not to take anything away from the milk because it's delicious. It's, it's wonderful. 
but I do think the dark just goes better. And so this will be fun. This will be the white. And um, it just depends uh, how that white goes. Must be a ton. Um, it adds a, like a creamy milkiness to it. It cuts a lot of the mint too though. Yes, it does. That's amazing. Yep. Kind of like milk helps cancel out hot food. That white chocolate canceled out some of the mint. Yeah, the uh, the, the mint flavor in the dark is intense. Mm -hmm. In the uh, in the milk chocolate, it's just an overall sweet with that mint. In the white, though, I agree with you. It's like it's diminished. The mint is diminished. Unless they lowered it to help balance that because they knew the white wasn't They could strong. have. Uh, I, I love the white chocolate though. I think the it's white, very it's very sweet. It would, it reminds me of a more American white chocolate mm -hmm. because it is so sweet. Because sometimes from other countries, the milk, it's not the same. Or it has uh, a milky white, kind of creamy flavor. Yeah, the white chocolate isn't the same everywhere as it is here. And so this is still super super sweet mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's good i think after eight anyway is such a great brand i i love it um it, it's it's hard to choose i mean we always during these videos we it's say so different everything is so absolutely different and it just depends on what you're craving let's put it this way nothing here is bad no except that was i could eat them it, it wouldn't be something i would choose rough yeah. It was bad. It wouldn't be something I would choose, but but everything else is, is pretty decent. I still, Even the peanut butter things is like, eh, it was okay. I probably wouldn't buy them again. Um, I wouldn't get these again. And the peanut butter, they we tried some other ones from Treats from Maria um, that were better, that I liked better than yeah. these. These, these are, are so okay, um, which we'll try them again later because they might seem a lot sweeter once we haven't had a Werther's before. Right. Um, they do have a really good peanut flavor. I don't understand why Dickman's doesn't have these out all the time. I guess because maybe they have such a short shelf life, but the UK has Mr. Kipling Cakes and they have a short shelf life and they're turning those out all the time. Uh, these are wonderful. They should be out constantly. I think my two favorite things are the After Eight and these Dickman's. Yeah. Um. And I love the Werther's Original, but if I only had two, yeah, if I, I could only wouldn't. pick two, I would pick those two. I'd agree with you. Really? Yeah. Even though I really do like this this chewy candy, mm -hmm. this would be like a an everyday snacky thing. Yeah. But um, but if I'm gonna go to the store, I'd probably buy the after eights with those cakes. It's yeah, true. they're absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much, Maria, for picking these up for us. Uh, we really really appreciate it, and thanks for watching.